Hello, favorite students, and welcome to Solving Forces Part 2. We are now on page 32 still of your red workbook, but now we're on question number two. So if you haven't watched the video for question number one, you should watch that first and come back to this one. Here on question number two, it's the same setup as question number one. It's still a person riding in an elevator, but now the elevator is accelerating in the positive y direction. So our system schema is the same. We still have the earth, the elevator floor, the person, and the rope, and there are two forces touching the person. What's different is now we are accelerating. So Newton's first law says that our forces need to be unbalanced. Because we are accelerating up, our normal force is bigger than our gravitational force. So I've drawn the arrow bigger, and I show normal force greater than gravitational force. So the free body diagram is a little bit different. The math becomes a little bit different too. We still start with our net force in the y direction <clears throat> equals the mass times the acceleration in the y direction. We still break up, so let's check off our steps as we go. We still break up our net force into all of the positives get added, all of the negatives get subtracted. So normal force is a positive, we add it. Gravity is a negative, we subtract it. That equals mass times acceleration. But this time, we're not going to make acceleration zero. The problem tells us that we have some positive acceleration. So for now, because we want to do numbers last, we're going to leave this as A. We can then try and solve for normal force. Oh, sorry, got one step ahead of myself. Our weight, our Fg, needs to get substituted in for Mg, because remember our equation Fg equals mass times little g. Now we can solve for normal force. So we're going to add our mg to the other side, and we'll hit normal force equals the mass multiplied by the acceleration plus the mass multiplied by little g. Now we can solve by putting in the numbers. So mass is 85. The problem told us that the acceleration is 2. Mass is 85. Little g is 10. When we multiply that and add them together, it tells us that normal force is 1,020 newtons. Be the leaders that your community needs and deserves. Choose to be great and have a great day.